from the voice of Honest Trailers, it's Epic Voice Reviews, and read your comments at the end. Now in theaters. Guess who's finally back for some new Epic Voice reviews? That's right, the Epic Voice has returned. You got to see me on Grand Theft Smosh, you got to see me on Movie Fights finally, so stop asking. Uh, I don't live there, if you guys didn't know, I don't live there. I travel there fairly frequently, but I'm not there often enough to be on there all the time. So anyways, but now we're back and we're ready for some more Epic Voice reviews. First up, it's Pixels. Wow, what a load of crap. <laughs> Man, I was really hopeful for this movie. I auditioned a ton for this film for ADR, uh, filling in for Adam Sandler, Josh Gad, uh, Rutana, and uh, I, got, uh, I don't want to go into it, but things did not work out well for me, voiceover career-wise, in that situation. But uh, I was hoping that the movie would be good, and nostalgia, and 80s g games and things, and no, it's just another crappy Sandler film. Uh, it had some good moments, but none of them were Sandler moments. <laughs> And they, man, they made Peter Dinklage look stupid. How is that even possible? It's like one of the coolest dudes ever. Ugh, two and a half stars. Wait for it on Redbox or don't watch it at all. I thought it might even be a decent kids movie, but even then, I, I don't, other than the actual game parts, which was the, the smallest part of the movie. And how does Kevin James become president? Does anyone want to answer that question? There's no explanation for that at all. Pixels, rated PG-13. Up next, we have Smosh the Movie. Uh, I got to see a screening of Smosh the Movie with uh, Smosh, Smosh Games and all the guys from Screen Junkies and Warp Zones, like all these great YouTubers. I got to walk the red carpet. It was pretty awesome. Um, so let's take this for what it is. It's a feature-length YouTube video. That's pretty much what it is. But for if you take it for what it is, it's really the Bill and Ted of our generation. It's, it was a fun film. It is no Shawshank Redemption. You're a tween and you love Smosh and you love uh, seeing your favorite YouTubers make cameos in, in a movie. It, yeah, it's cool. And you can go buy it right now. So you can check it out for yourself. Smosh the movie, rated PG-13. And finally, Mission Impossible, Rogue Nation. Man, Tom Cruise is really old, but still kicks some butt. It was actually not too bad. Uh, it was had some slow parts, but all of them have. It was not Mission Impossible 2. That was the worst of all the Mission Impossible movies. This one was much, much better. This one wasn't as good as the first one, but at least they didn't try to do the way over the top uh, action scenes. It was believable action scenes for once. So, uh, yeah, for what it was, I thought it was pretty awesome. Four stars, because it was better than average, but not perfect. Mission Impossible Rogue Nation, rated PG-13. It was definitely worth watching in the theater. It's got some great surround. Great music. I love the freaking theme song for Mission Impossible. And now, it's time for your comments. Subscribe to Ant Will, the Comic Geek. He reviews comic books like every other comic channel. So subscribe to his channel, Ant Will, the Comic Geek. That's what he told me to say. I like turtles and bears. Beware the dark swan. Cheeky Nando's better with the lads. You wake one, you wake them all. Bibs, the movie starring Jack Black and Joan Cusack. That's actually what he wrote. If you like this video, share it and click subscribe. Click here for more epic voice reviews. Click here for more imitation gaming videos. It's Piction Smoshable because we're viewing Pixels, Smosh, and Mission Impossible. That's all.